Hello, and Randy, you're playing Farming Simulator 22 on Prairie Farms, Michigan. We're almost finished with the corn harvest here uh, this episode, and unless something goes wrong, we should finish it here this episode as well. We only got, uh, I think, maybe another row, maybe two rows here to go yet with the other combine. I'm probably just going to wrap it up here with this one, let that one uh, finish here. I think, like I said, about two more, I think about two more passes here should about uh, finish this up. So we'll just uh, take this one off the field here. We'll empty it out here in a minute. And then we can probably start uh, course play on the mulching job here. Uh, again, if I would have had the uh, the stalk stompers, I had to think of the name there a minute. If I would have had the stalk stompers down the whole time, uh, probably wouldn't have had to mulch much on this uh, field. Let's see if we turn off the right screens here so we can actually see it. So you can see most of the field is mulched. Uh, the exception, of course, being along this headland here, it's just a little bit uh, streaky. I think that's just because it doesn't work in that direction for some reason, unfortunately. We had the same problem over on field six, too, last time we used that one. It would work in the one direction, the other direction it wouldn't. So, well, good to know that, let's see, uh, this is east-west. Had to think of the direction. That, so this is east-west, Kevin. It does work good in that direction, it looks like. Also looks like it works good, and I'm guessing that's north, Kevin, because this side was probably going south. It was going down the field this way. And then over on this field, it was going up the field that way. So that should have been north. Looks like that side is fine. You know, again, east-west is fine, and south, uh... No go. No go. Although it is weird. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure what's up with the missing strip here. So you can see when I did the headland here. And actually, I thought I did I thought I did the headland over here, too. Maybe I just didn't have it down when I did that. Because I thought I did the headland passes on all these sides here. Maybe not. Might have just not had them down. Oh, well. Uh, for some reason, I'm, whenever you restart the game here, these uh, stock stoppers go back up. They don't stay down. So... Every time you re-enter the game, Evan, got to remember to lower the stock stompers back down, unfortunately. So that's probably what uh, what got me there. Speaking of which, we'll just uh, raise them back up here for now. And let's just drive over to our trucks here. We'll empty the combine out. Just a little bit of corn in here. Also, just have to think, Evan, we're putting the corn in the dryer. Should probably check and make sure the dryer actually has uh, gas in it. Probably would be a good idea, right? Also wanted to see if we could uh, buy some more cows here again this episode as well. I will have to say, though, it has been kind of nice not having cows. Because uh, now whenever I want to skip time, I'm just skip time. I don't got to worry about, uh, well, do the cows have food? And if they do have food, do they have enough to make it through the night? Blah, blah. No. Just, we're good. But yeah, we'll probably uh, repurchase the cows, Kevin. Again, I waited just a little bit. I was hoping the buildings would fill up. But again, as I've mentioned a couple of times in the past, I don't know if that actually happens or not. Like, do the buildings actually fill up if there's nothing in them? They, pr they probably don't. That seems like that's probably the way it would work, right? But not sure. Anyway, or I'll just leave that uh, combine there. It's a good parking spot to me. Let's go check our dryer here a minute. And let's see, corn. Oh, yeah, we got plenty of methane in there yet. We should be good on that one for at least a little bit. Uh, looks like we got about 2,000 bushels almost dry here so far. We got another 11,000 in there. Plus, we do have some in our main silo yet as well. So I'll probably get uh, course play transferring that over. We got 671,000 liters in our main silo. I'm not sure how many bushels that works out to. Yeah, I don't know. Another, what, 600? Bush, no, it'll be more than 600 bushel, right? Another thousand? I think another thousand bushels, I believe, is what that math works out to. I could be wrong, or maybe a little bit more than that somewhere in there. So, yeah, we got, oh, now this changed to liters, too. So, we got, we got a million liters here, uh, approximately, between both our main silo system and what's in the uh, dryer. Plus, there's a little bit more coming off the field yet as well, of course, I mean, so, I don't know, maybe another couple hundred thousand at the most. Yep, that's unloading, like I said. Oh, it's going to be more than uh, two more passes in that. It's going to be more like three passes. Oh, well. So, like I said, should be able to finish that up here at this episode, hopefully. We've got uh, two grain carts here, one combine on the field. So, come on, auto drive. Pressure's on. You should have no problem keeping that combine reasonably unloaded here at this point. Well, let's grab our uh, 9530T here. Yeah, that's not overkill for the mulcher at all, is it? Nah. What's overkill anyway? It's overrated. We'll get uh, course play set up here and mulch in the rest of the field. We'll probably just do the entire field, everyone. 
Again, I know most of the field's been mulched, but easier just to set up a course by course for the whole field, just redo the whole field. Not really that big of a deal. Okay. Oh, this field's going to need to be plowed too, isn't it? Good point. Well, let's get uh course play on this one. Number of headlands. Yeah, that should be pretty good. That course is going to take a while to complete. I wonder what uh, course plays estimated time on this one will be. Could pop up here in just a second once course play gets going. This does at least uh, roll around at a pretty good uh, clip, though, so. Oh, we're we not going to get a time estimate on it? I guess we don't have a time estimate. It's kind of weird. I, mean, I, I thought we would have had a time estimate show up here, but at least not yet. Maybe it'll, uh, maybe it's got to have a little more time to calculate here. Such a large course. Um, yeah. Oh, well, well, we'll leave it to its thing here. Uh, speaking of its thing, by the way, what else do we got to do for the rest of these fields here? Do we need lime, fertilizer, plowing? We should probably go check the rest of our fields here, see if there's anything else we need to do here as far as fall work goes. So pH on this field says it's okay. Let's go to our soil maps here. pH. I'm going to guess we're probably okay. Not. It looks like this section up here is a little bit darker. Let's maybe run up there real quick, double check and make sure, but looks like we can get one more crop off this field. Yeah, before we need a lot. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Never mind. Never mind. Maybe not. Well, that's weird. Hmm. Over here. Six, uh, well, six and an eighth. Well, then, in that case, maybe we do need some uh, lime on this field here, then. I won. Six and an eighth, and this was... Ah, uh, it needs six and a half. Okay. So 6.75, that's why. Must be a different uh, soil type here. Yep. Looks like the loam needs a little bit of lime on it. Well, that's kind of unfortunate because the rest of the field is looking like it's pretty good. And I'm guessing when we get up to this darker section, I'm guessing that'll be okay, but maybe not. Okay. No, it is not. That one uh, needs, well, upwards of seven. And it's currently at six and a quarter. So even the darker spot. Okay. Well, that does that one. Let's get the lime spreader out. We'll get some lime going on that field here in a minute. Oh, that is not lime. Let's, uh, yeah, we'll just switch. Oh, don't want to disconnect there. I want to disconnect there. Leave the spreader portion on it if we can. And depending on what we plan and what fields here, we could possibly put some slurry on some of this here as well. If we put soybeans on, uh, I don't know what field are we going to put soybeans on? Maybe I should think about this. Someone, what field should we plant with what here? That is a good question. We got six, seven, eight, nine. So actually, the seven and uh, eight are planted already. So yeah, we don't have to worry about those. So just uh, six and nine. So if we do it, do soybeans on this field, or should we flip flop here again? We'll see you once, that one. If we do corn back on field six here and put soybeans on nine, why am I driving over here? We'll just uh, start the. Uh, force over the question well let's fill it up here first too fill it up first then we'll start the uh, starter line course and for those of you wondering by the way this tractor is probably not overkill for this uh, particular job hello uh, truck <laughs> all of a sudden they got really loud Okay, course play. You're up here again. Let's get that course by course. That one, unload that one. New course. 
Uh, I don't think we need three. Two should be plenty of headlands for this. Should probably go check and make sure we're good on our other uh, two fields here as well. Both fields seven and eight. It actually, looks like looking at this map, it looks like they are slightly darker. So. I would presume I checked that when I planted, but, well, again, as, as you folks seen there, though, I should get this map out of the way here, man. You know, just looking on the field, Evan, you walk out on the field, like, right now, I'm like, oh, yeah, pH is good. Looks like it should be fine. Don't need no uh, lime on this field. But then you almost got to walk across the entire field, because if we walk out, let's see what's here. Probably not going to be able to see it from here, are we? Oh, well, oh, there we go, Evan. Walk out just a little ways, and there it's bad. So... Didn't have to go very far for that one. So again, you almost got to check multiple spots in the field just to make sure. Uh, where'd my horse plate horse go? Oh, there it is. Yep, I was gonna say I thought it was right there. Couldn't see it there for a minute. Okay, first waypoint. Should be all set. Just drive course. There he goes, okay. So, can I take a look at field seven and eight here? Let's just make sure, because again, we can still put lime on these fields here at this point if they are bad, which uh, doesn't look like they are. It's saying it's okay here. Uh, if we go check the uh, soil map here again. Really, it's probably the uh, soil type we should be looking at. When once you hit all the soil types and all the different soil types are okay, then you should be fine. Assuming your entire field is the same, right? So yeah, we're good there. That's actually interesting that we're good on that one. Ooh, pH is okay. Again, if we go back to our soil map here, check. Okay, yeah, so we got three, so we'll just walk a little bit further here. We should hit the next soil type. Yep, there we go, which is still okay. Excellent. Yeah, a little bit further here we should hit. There we go, there's the next soil type as well. So, yeah, these fields are good, Evan. Good. I can't remember if I checked those or not here. Although, looking at our expected yield, Evan, looks like we're looking at a solid 100% yield here. So... It says 100% out of 100%, right? Good. Nothing wrong with that. Also, how's our values looking here? 98, 99, 96, 99, 85. Oh, what's, uh, what's weed control? What's wrong with that? Not sure what I was complaining about there. Overall score, 94, huh? Yeah, it's okay. Weed control's a little bit low. Not sure why it's complaining about that on that field, but oh well. Oh, looks like the Combine's on his last pass here, finally. So like I said, we'll have this uh, finished up here shortly. We could probably, is that the grain cart? Nope, that is not the grain cart. Looks like there's a grain cart sitting here, though. So we could probably get this one off the field. Yep, you are unloaded. No sense uh, filling you back up here, so we'll just let the one finish. Let's take you off the field. We'll put this away, then we'll uh, maybe head over to the cows, Evan. And look, I'm buying some more cows. We'll fill, I'll probably just fill up the two barns for now, Evan, and just kind of stagger them again. And I'll wait a couple months, and then we'll fill up the, oh boy, look at those corn stalks there. Oh, the field quality manager is going to have a aneurysm. I'm telling you folks. He's going to have multiple aneurysms, all the corn stalks we got sitting around in that field. Oh boy. In fact, with that many, uh, Corn stalk sitting in the field. He's probably going to have to come over and have a talk with me about it.
Oh, that's where our nice truck is parked. Yet, yeah. still got it on the seed tender there. Nope, there's the back wall. Found it. Oh, that card is so long. Yeah, but you don't realize how long it is until, well, yeah, in that case, you hit the back wall. Whoops. Oh, uh, fortunately, that's not a problem here in the game. You know, you hit the back wall, your machine shed, uh, nah, doesn't do anything in the game. You know, mind you, real life, that would probably be a bit of a problem there. Especially if you hit it with something that big in this tractor. Oh, boy. I don't know if that uh, grain cart in this tractor would even notice it if you hit the, uh, the back wall of most uh, pole barn type sheds. Obviously, the uh, type of shed that's, I would say, fairly common here in America. I don't know how common they are in other countries, uh, you know, the European-type countries here, if they really use this type of shed or not. But at least in America, I mean, yep, a couple poles, a couple of beams going across. Well, actually, there's probably more like beams here. And then a couple of 2x4s or... Bit of a strange-looking 2x4. A couple 2x4s running that way. Stick. A stick building, essentially. That one, very cheap. But gets the job done. Okay, yep, half done. Wow, he's making short work of that. Well, let's head over to the cows, Evan. Oh, which one do we want to fill here? Let's uh, maybe fill the front ones here first. So this one and the one in front of it. That is not the one I need. I need this one right here. And we need some more Angus cows. So $300 for... Let's see what's there. They are... Oh, zero months. Zero months old. And we'll just fill this right up. Come on, Giants. Why do you have to make it so difficult to buy cows? Like, really? Uh, how many clicks? So you got to click on the cows. You got to click on... Oh, yeah, you can use the keyboard shortcut, too. But we'll just count them as clicks. You got to select. You got to enter your number. In this case, I already did that. But uh, that'll be four clicks. You got to click buy. Are you sure? Yep. That's five clicks. We're up to six clicks. Was it six or seven? Or six or seven clicks. I mean, just to buy some cows. Like, ridiculous. I think uh, Giants could half that number if they uh, wanted to, but apparently uh, Giants wants to make it as painful as possible to uh, buy cows, it seems like. Oh, it looks like Evan Howe was wondering if it would fill it up. The shed is indeed full as far as hay, silage, and straw. So it looks like, well, actually, no, never mind. That is not the one we want to look at. We want to look at the one here. And that one is full. Okay. So, yeah, looks like it did fill it up, everyone. Because I think... See, the, the one you want to look at, I mean, is the total capacity right here. This one right here. So, silage 50, hay 30, grain 20. So, yeah, it is 100% full. Excellent. Straw is also full. Cool. These are all full. Maybe just push that bale into there. Okay, well, let's see if we're full on the next one here as well. That's really nice to see, everyone. I was afraid here that just letting them set means it wouldn't fill up, but uh, they did. At least that one did indeed fill up. I don't think it was before, so. Don't mind me just clicking away. Okay. Oh, oh, one more yet. Thought we had it full. Another batch of 60. There we go. Okay. And let's see what's how this one's looking here. That one is full. Oh, it's not full on straw, though. Which, yeah, it, that's not automatically filled, right? So that's something I got to fill. So I'll have to do that here in a minute, make sure that one's full. But we're full on feed. Nice to see that. And, oh, we're not quite full on silage. Okay. No, we don't have any here either. Well noted. We better make some more uh, silage bales here next time, then. That one has some. That one. Oh, okay. So we got both the front ones here. Looks like they need some more silage bales. Interesting. Mind you, I could uh, steal some from you know one of the other sheds there, but oh yeah, this one definitely needs some. Okay, well noted. Next time we're mowing the field, which um, I don't know. Oh, this still hasn't finished yet, has it? Ah, I should just we'll just have to probably finish this ourselves here or something, everyone. Maybe that's what we'll do the rest of the episode. We'll we'll finish bailing here. Like I said before, everyone, and I was talking about this here last episode. I don't know why it is, everyone, but sometimes 
The tractor will finish just fine on these sharp corners. Other times, no, horse play just will not do the sharp corners. So I really need to uh, reset this course play up and just do away with the sharp corners. Just do the regular rounded corners. Then I would have half the problems I have on this field. Of course, half problems being is the fact that it stops in the corners here with the baler sometimes. Not all the time again, which is the weird part. That's what's kind of annoying about them, and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Now, not much on this uh, pass, is there? I should just uh, skip this one, to be honest. Anyway, we'll head over to the comments here a minute. See what we got for last episode. Uh, Magnus was saying it's JHHG's corn header. It's the latest 712 FC 2020 version on the official Farming Simulator Mod Hub. Uh, Giants Mod Hub, that is. Uh, great video as always. Hey, thank you very much for that. And uh, the reason I always make that distinction, and Magnus made this distinction as well, the Giants Mod Hub, Evan, because there is also a Mod Hub website. Possibly one of the better websites out there as far as uh, websites for getting mods go, but uh, still, still definitely up on the fishy scale just a little bit there. I'm on the the, uh, the Mod Hub website, the, the non-official one. So uh, you know, again, for those who want, that's why I always make that uh, distinction when I say Mod Hub. When I'm talking the official Giants Mod Hub, not the Mod Hub website. Christopher was saying, good video. Thank you very much for that. And maybe talking about download mods. I'm just, you know, word of caution there. Just be careful when you're downloading mods from other places than the official Farming Simulator Mod Hub, which you can access right through in the game, by the way, and download in the game. So you don't necessarily even need, you know, to go to the website to download mods. You can just do it right in the game here if you wanted to. But yeah, just uh, again, if you're downloading from other websites, I'm just a word of caution there. Be extremely cautious. Most of those websites are just low life, good for nothing. Yeah, floor flushing. You folks get the idea. Personally, I, you know, if it was up to me, I won. Those websites should be uh, banned, never allowed to exist again, and the other uh, creators should be banned with them. That's, uh, that's my thoughts on most of those websites. Again, again, Evan, there's a few good ones out there. Or a few, let, let's uh, call it better ones out there. I don't necessarily have a problem with the, the ads on the websites, Evan. It's the amount of deceptive ads that are on these websites. That's, oh, my goodness. And I'm sure for those of you who have ever gone to any one of these uh, less than reputable websites for download mods, Evan, you'll know what I'm talking about here. You'll have about a dozen different download buttons and uh, trying to find the right one that actually downloads what you're looking for. Oh, boy. The, uh, the trick with that one, of course, that one is to uh, pay attention to where the link is going. You know, if link has any sort of ad or something in it, you know, it's ad, download, blah, blah, blah. It's, 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 it's an ad, Evan. You're actually looking for usually the download link will have the name of the mod in it. Although that's not always necessarily reliable either, I want because sometimes the uh, website author can uh, put it to another page, which then look, yeah, yeah, less than reputable websites. Some of that should be flushed away, and there are creators with it. Out of curiosity, real quick, how are we looking on the harvest? Oh, I think we are finished. Oh, that was close. Let's get this uh, combine out of the way here a minute. I don't want to get him a uh, run over by the mulcher if we can help it. Oh, let's see what's here. Uh, Christopher was saying good video. Actually, I think I read that one already. Anyway, uh, Hetro was saying good video as well. I used to be pretty good with the uh, construction tool in Farming Simulator 19, but now I just make a mess here with Farming Simulator 22 version. Uh, he also says the nitrogen loss, it's 
from the stock stompers. That's why I won't use... Oh, the stock... Why are the stock stompers causing a nitrogen loss? Which, uh, if you look at the map, everyone, it looks like it's also causing a yield loss as well, right? Because if you look at this map here... The, the problem is, I mean, it doesn't seem to do it everywhere, which is what I don't get. I wonder if that goes back to that whole works in some directions but doesn't work in other directions problem, maybe, I want. I don't know. Maybe that's what's going on there. But, uh, like, if you look at the mulch map, let's actually just pull that up here. Uh, no, we need to go to this one. Yep. Turn those off. So you can see most of the field has been mulched. Uh, this section obviously has not. But if you look at most of this, I mean, most of this down here has been mulched. And if we go to this map, you can see we got, like, down here, the yield's fine. We got some strips here where the yield's fine. We got some more strips here where the yield is fine. Same thing there. We got a large section here where the yield is fine. Again, if we go back, you can see that, hey, this is indeed mulched here. So weird. <clears throat> like I said, the only thing I can think of there, one goes back to the whole thing that this particular mod does not work well in some of the cardinal directions on the map. And again, cardinal directions being northeast, southwest. There, one. Oh, you know what? I should have put the pipe away and just not empty because that was empty, wasn't it? Yeah, fine. We'll just empty into the truck. Oh, oh, wait a minute. That grain cart's coming to unload us, isn't he? That's fine. We'll just uh, we'll park there, let him unload us. We'll go back to bailing here for a minute. Where did I leave that tractor? There it is. Oh, that's not a very straight roll. What is up with that there, horse play? It's crooked. Goodness. And then, yeah, going back to what Hetro was saying, too, about uh, the construction tool in Farming Simulator 19 to Farming Simulator 22. I'm not sure who did uh, Giant's uh, quality checks or R&D on that one, everyone, but uh, they might want to just, you know, like, fire that person because, wow. I'd have to agree with Hetro. The uh, the construction tools here in Farming Simulator 22 definitely did not receive an improvement. And that's not saying much, I mean, because uh, I would say they definitely needed an improvement from 19, but Giant's kind of took the opposite approach and was like, well, let's, uh, let's make a... A poor quality tool, even poor. Talking again about the uh, construction tools here, Farming Simulator 19. Like I said, I won't say they were great back in Farming Simulator 19, but at least they were. Tommy Slav is saying John Deere colors. Oh, the best colors. Yes, you know it there, Tommy Slav. You know it. Let's see, we done a loan over here yet? Looks like we might be. Get back over here, because again, I want to get this combine out of the way here, the mulcher. Okay, nope, he's not done unloading. Well, fine. I'll go unload in the truck then. You watch, as yeah, I was going to say, as soon as I start moving, everyone, that grain cart's going to start moving again and probably try to unload us. Of course, while we're unloading ourselves over here, probably. Okay, let's put the pipe away. Yep, that ends the call. And we'll get this uh, combine off the field. And then, unfortunately, we'll have to go unload the grain cart again. It was empty, but oh well. And then, like I was saying to him, one of these trucks here will have to put on the task of transferring the corn that is in our main silo system over to the uh, corn dryer. Again, the dried corn obviously pays better, one, so that's the reason for drying the corn. Although it does, of course, cost money to dry the corn because we've got to buy the methane for it. Oh, that's a pretty sight there. That is a pretty sight there, if you ask me. Hmm, don't that look good? Yes, yeah, both John Deere S790 combines. I like it.
Oh, was the engine on already? Oops. Yeah, start the engine. There we go. And put the pipe back out. Try not to unload into the, any of these other trucks here either, because I'm guessing they're probably all empty. Speaking of the trucks, by the way, had a little bit of an interesting uh, problem here in between episodes. Apparently, when I reconfigured this truck, you have one. Uh, I took the uh, logo off the cover. Apparently, when I did that, uh, it reapplied the oh, wrong button. Pipe away. Uh, it reapplied or added the dual hopper to that uh, trailer. So. Had a little bit of a hiccup here with harvesting between episodes. Because of that dual hopper, I mean, it brought the entire operation to a halt again. You know, where auto drive filled up one hopper, but then uh, you know, the truck wasn't quite in the right position to fill up the other one. I'm guessing probably because the full truck pulled away and the next one pulled up. And the usual problem I always have, right, everyone? Anyway, speaking of problems, by the way, it is over time for this episode, so we better wrap it up. You folks have any comments or questions? Be sure to leave them down below. And as always, Evan, thanks for watching and until next time. Oh, contact. Hit the back wall with that one too yet. Oh boy. Oh well. <laughs>